matchup there. Next game, Astros. Indians, 7-10 Cleveland. The Astros are minus 200, totals 8.5. We saw a nickel fade of the Astros in the early wagering. Houston open 205, down to 200, totals 8.5. 68% are leading Astros, 78% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Indians are plus 170 on the money line. Houston minus a buck 20 on the run line. We have Garrett Cole for the Astros, Danny Salazar for the Indians. Salazar is making his first start since 2017. Uh, looks like he's going to be held to just about a 70-pitch uh, uh, pitch count here tonight. Now, Garrett Cole on the other side, he's been outstanding. He's 12-5 and five with a 2.94 ERA and a 1.00 whip. He also has 212 strikeouts in just 143 innings. Now, Houston has the most wins in the American League. They have 69 of them, and uh, they're nearly 30 games over 500 right now at 69 and 40 overall for the year. The Astros are also third in offensive walks, first in hits allowed. Uh, now, on the other side, the Indians are just 20th in scoring, 23rd in hits. They've covered just 25 out of 55 at home this year. And when it comes to the total, Cleveland is 80% of the over in their last five. The Astros are 6-1 of the over in their last seven in Cleveland. So with all that said and done, I'm going to lean Houston Astros minus 1.5 and, and the over 8.5 runs in that game. Next matchup, Cubs, Cardinals. Turning out to be a pretty good series here. 7-15 Eastern first pitch in St. Louis for NL Central Supremacy. The cards are minus 125, totals 8.5. We did see a 10 cent fade of St. Louis in the early wagering. The cards open a buck 35, down to 125. Once again, totals at 8.5. Right now, the Cubbies are plus 115 on the money line. 66% are leaning Cubs, 58% shaded toward the up, over. And at the moment, the cards are plus 165. On the run line. We have Big John Lester for the Cubs. I'm sorry, uh, the cards are plus 165 on the run line. Excuse me. So once again, uh, the cards plus 165 on the run line. Um, I keep mixing up. Cards, Cubs. Chicago, plus 115 on the money line. Cardinals, plus 165 on the run line. There we go. Big John Lester for Chicago. Big Jack Flaherty for St. Louis. I don't know that. I don't think they call him Big Jack Flaherty. But anyway, uh, Jack Flaherty for St. Louis. Now, Flaherty's just 4-6 and six with a 4.17 ERA and a 1.20 whip. Now, Big John Lester on the other side for Chicago. 9-6 and six on the year. 3.63 ERA. 110 strikeouts in just 114 innings. St. Louis is just 26-27 and 27 against the spread at home. They rank 25th in hits on average per game. They're also 24th in home scoring. Now the Cubbies on the other side, they're back in first place. First place in the NL Central. Tied with St. Louis. 4-1 in their last five, taking on the cards. Now total-wise, the Cubbies are 30-23 and 23 to the over when traveling. I'm going to lean toward the road dog in this one. Give me the Chicago Cubs. Plus a buck 15 in the over. Eight and a half in that game. Next matchup. Reds, Braves. 720 Atlanta. The Braves are minus 150. Totals nine and a half. 72% are leaning Atlanta. 66% shaded toward the under. Right now the Reds are plus 140 on the money line. The Braves plus a buck 25 on the run line. We have Anthony DiSclefani for the Reds. Max Freed for the Braves. Freed's 11 and four with 108 strikeouts. In just 109 innings pitched. Now, Anthony DiSclefani on the other side comes into this game with a 401 ERA and a 1.29 whip for the Reds. The Braves are first in the NLE, 64 and 45 overall for the year, nearly 20 games over 500. They're also 30 and 23 at home, fourth in home scoring, fourth in home hits. Now, the Reds on the other side, they are fourth in the NL Central, six games under 500 at just 50 and 56 overall for the year. They've also won just 21 out of 51 away from home. They rank 23rd in road scoring, 26th in road hits. When it comes to the total, the Reds are 33 and 18 to the under away from home. I'm going to lean Atlanta Braves minus 150 in the under, nine and a half in that matchup there. Next and final game for the show, it is going to be Padres, Dodgers, 10-10 Los Angeles. The Dodgers are minus 200, totals 7.5. 
We did see a 10 cent fade of LA and movement downward on the total. The Dodgers open 210, down to minus 200. Total open 8.5, all the way down to 7.5. 70% are leaning Dodgers, 52% shaded toward the under. Right now, the Padres are plus 180 on the money line. We have Joey Lucchese for the Padres, Clayton Kershaw for the Dodgers. Kershaw's 9-2 with a 2.85 ERA and a 1.02 whip. He also has 117 strikeouts and just 117 innings pitched. Now, Joey Lucchese on the other side for the Padres comes into this ballgame with a 4-12 ERA. San Diego's fourth in the AL West, 19 and a half games back of these very Dodgers. They've also won just five out of their last 17 ball games. San Diego's 26th in offensive hits, 27th in striking out on the road. Now, the Dodgers on the other side, they have the best record in Major League Baseball. They are 71-39 and Overall for the year, that is 32, I'm sorry, uh, how many games is that? 32 games over 500, is that right? Uh, yes, 32 games over 500. Uh, that's a 645 win percentage, which is absurd. Uh, they're also virtually unbeatable at home. They're 40 and 14 at home this year. When it comes to the total, the Dodgers are 29 and 25 to the over at Dodger Stadium. So with all that said and done, I'm going to lean LA Dodgers minus one and a half and the over seven and a half runs in that game. Just a quick recap here. We're going to go uh, backwards first. Uh, we have Padres Dodgers. I like the Dodgers minus one and a half and the over seven and a half in that game. We have the Reds and the Braves. I like Atlanta minus 150 and the under nine and a half in that one. We have the Cubs and the Cards. I like Cubbies plus a dollar fifteen and the over eight and a half in that one. We have the Astros taking on the Indians. I like Houston minus one and a half and the over eight and a half in that one. We have the Rays taking on the Red Sox. I'm leaning Boston minus a buck and a quarter and the over 10 and a half in that one. We have the Blue Jays taking on the Orioles. No line on that game, but I am leaning toward Baltimore's Asher Wojciechowski getting the W on the bump. We have the Brewers taking on the Athletics. No line for that game. I like Oakland winning it outright for some money line cash. We also have the Mets taking on the White Sox. I'm leaning Mets on the road here, minus a buck sixty and the over nine and a half in that one. We also have the Giants taking on the Phils. No line for that game either. And I'm actually leaning toward the Giants winning that one on the road. Uh, we have the Twins and the Marlins. I like Twins minus one and a half in the over eight runs in that game. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into some shout outs brought to you by Patreon.com slash Brock Page. And we got a lot of them. Got to give a shout out to Evil Dax, the Uber Doppelganger. Uh, shout out to Gregory Russo, who uh, my fellow Paisan, very, very critical of me. That's how uh, that's how us Paisans are. We're very uh, uh, confrontational with each other. And he said, this dude doesn't know much about baseball. <laughs> Uh, you're right, Greg. I, I don't know much about baseball, and I certainly don't dedicate my life to it. Uh, shout out to Young Maestro, Boxer Buddy, Matt It's Gonna Be May, representing the Beard Gang. Got to give a shout out to Calico Jones, Chuck Pinter, who uh, actually Chuck mentioned the other day, there's been an awful lot of hitchhikers in the comments section lately. You're exactly right, Chuck. Uh, a lot of hitchhikers, a lot of uh, unfamiliar faces really... Um, Posting some weird stuff. But anyway, Chuck, always good to see you. Uh, Got to give a shout out to John Wiley, Worthy OM311, uh, Darius Allen. Uh, Got to give a shout out to Marquise Jackson, who said, everything you picked is losing. Thank you, Marquise Jackson, who uh, would probably be deemed uh, a hitchhiker, according to Chuck Pinter. Uh, Got to give a shout out to Augie Cleland, who uh, is the distant cousin of Brian Cleland. So I'm sure we'll probably uh, expect... A lot of similar posts from Augie that we did from Brian. I haven't heard from Brian in a while, so uh, if you see your cousin Augie, let him know. I said hello, and I miss him. Um, Got to give a shout-out to Ryan Nelson. Seems like a real good dude, Ryan. Uh, thanks for uh, commenting, and uh, you seem like a solid guy, so uh, thank you for tuning in, and uh, I, I value your uh, viewership right here on YouTube. Uh, shout-out to Norwall Music, Robert German, Vinny Smooth, CQP Underboss, uh, Will Smith, Mike Wilkerson, Jerome Jerry Watkins, 
Shout out to Danny J, Tom Bees, Pappy Longwood, Chris Smith, uh, the U Dog, Ulysses Hayes, uh, Matthias Mall, Bo Dunn, Charlotte P. Got to give a shout out to Eric Brown, Ty Clinton. Uh, Got to give a shout out to James Graham. He said, "Don't quit your day job. Sixteen and ten is not good. This guy's a joke." I know sixteen and ten is terrible. It's only up uh, probably like five and a half units. I need to be a hundred percent on every pick. So you're right, James Graham, and I appreciate you pushing me to perfection. So James Graham, uh, once again, probably deemed a hitchhiker by um, our friend Chuck Pinter. But anyway, a couple more shout outs. Andre Tillman, Carlos Acevedo, and last but certainly not least, Freezy the God, the pro-line master. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Happy Thursday to you. The weekend's almost here. Best of luck to you. Don't forget to check me out on patreon.com slash Brock Page. Hey, guys, we went 3-1 again yesterday. We're 5-1 and one in our last six daily best plays, and we're 9-4 and four in our last 13 daily doubles. I don't know what you're waiting for. Get on it. Patreon.com slash Brock Page. Link is in the description section below. Be aware of the trolls. I've been leaving uh, posts in my comments section and in my description section. If you see a, a Brock Page impersonator, report them. Let's get these guys off of YouTube because they are certainly creating uh, a bad name for not only me, but our community. So anyway, if you see Brock Page impersonators, get them the hell out. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information right here on YouTube. And as always, don't forget to check me out on patreon.com slash Brock Page.